sure how much of a I, portion. Oh is. crap! I forgot that if I clicked on it, it would go backwards. I'm the nerdy guardian who fights for virtual love and justice. I am Sailor Eli. Welcome back, darlings. I'm here once again with my sarcastic cat companion, magical cat companion, Ruth. Wow! Don't forget the magical part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Must, must include the fact that she's magical. I wouldn't have gotten my powers if I hadn't made a contract with her. Uh, I mean... <laughs> am I that kind of magical boy? Am I Am I going to turn into a witch? And... Well, we'll worry about that part when we come to that bridge and have yeah. to cross it. Yeah, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we cross it. <laughs> um, uh, so I missed what Avery said last. Uh, we're playing Hustle Cat, by the way. Um... So, uh, I, but yeah, I clicked over to, to make this the active window and forgot that it would... It's okay. Yeah. But whatever. recap, we're trying to get a job yeah, here. we're trying to get a job at a cat cafe. So, uh, this is the uh, owner of the cat cafe. Well, if I had the room, I'd just keep them all. He totally means that, doesn't he? Cool, I get to be interviewed by a cat hoarder. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably better that way, right? Who knows? Follow me. We'll walk on the second. We'll we'll talk on the second floor. I guess we'll walk there too. I don't know. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. Before he finishes the sentence, he's already three steps up the stairs to the balcony. So much for the introduction to the cafe, I guess. I shake my head a little and follow him. Oh, uh, after all, I really need the need a job. Yeah, our character is very slovenly and lazy and hasn't been able to find a, a job to make ends meet. Uh, we make our way up to the second floor balcony, which, except for us, is only occupied by those amazing looking cakes in the display case. Oh, Bootsy, you love Ruth, don't you? I know she's a sucker and will do everything I want. Yeah, pretty much. She doesn't even care if I drool on her. I wonder if I can get a slice on my way out. Graves leans down over the balcony of the cafe and raises his voice to the people below. Or to the cats, I guess, since cats are the only thing I can see from here. Hayes, will you get us some coffee? Is that the chef? I haven't seen anybody here besides him and Landry. Oh, I already had a cup. Is that going to stop you from another? You can't have enough coffee, especially when Hayes is the one making it. <laughs> I just, I just am imagining him being really, like, threatening. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I just like imagining that. I don't think I met Hayes. You may have. You might know, not know yet. Hey, Hayes is one of the cats, I bet. <laughs> Graves folds himself into the slender chair at a corner table. He pushes the opposite chair away with his foot, nudging it just enough to turn it toward me. Come on, sit down. Let's talk those bedroom eyes. Yeah, <laughs> those really menacing bedroom eyes. You don't have to be so stiff. That's his job. Yeah, interviews are boring. Make it interesting for both of us. Boots, you're like, she's like pressing her butt against my chest. <laughs> no pressure, huh? Graves sits with this sort of grim pomp, like he's sitting in a skull throne and a raven's going to land on his shoulder at any time. Maybe it's more like he's about to roll a die with a lot of sides. Like this one I have right here. Oops. 20! 20! Yay! We win! We did. I, I bet he's a nerd. Oh, please. I'm a nerd. I take the seat across from him. Just so you're aware, we aren't starting without coffee. Uh, okay... You can talk, of course. I meant the interview. Okay. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a tiny slip of, slip of a blonde man standing at the balcony entrance. Ah! I jump a little. When did he get here? I didn't hear anybody come up the stairs at all. Is this guy a ghost? Graves looks like the type to hire ghosts. He looks terrified by my shout. I think I scared him more than he scared me. Gingerly, he's... I got cat hair all over my face now. <laughs> Jeez, boots. boots is like mission accomplished. Yeah. And the best part is how she's staring at the mic like she's gonna start talking into yeah. it. Bootsy, you wanna do you wanna participate? Do you wanna participate? <coughs> Bootsy. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> Nothing cruel was done to make no, the cat No, no, I just lifted her slightly. Booty. Booty. Say hello. Say hello to everyone. And Bootsy's like, nope. fuck you, Dad. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet just because you want me to talk. Normally she is the most talkative of our cats. Uh, gingerly, he sets two mugs in front of Graves. Thank you, Hayes, but you should give Avery the other mug. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like he's reminding a child to say thank you. Well, well of course. Hayes glances at me. I, I, I almost gave him this voice. Because <laughs> he's got those nerd glasses on, but nah, I don't Considering think Considering we're both wearing nerd glasses, yeah, do we really have the right to that's judge? True. That's true. Uh, our eyes meet for a millisecond before you fi suddenly find something very important to focus on downstairs. He pushes the cup toward me without looking back up. Uh, thank you. Graves' ring clacks against the porcelain of the cup as he takes a drink. Perfect, as always. I don't know what I did without your coffee. It's nothing special, really. We're joined by a second one. <laughs> Here's India. India! <laughs> Bootsy's like, no, my lap! Okay, oh, so God. So I have two arms. Oh, one thank, cat. thank you for saving me from the drool monster. Oh, but God. she's such a cute drool monster. The drool monster that has just covered me in cat hair. That's that's her job. She's a cat. Yeah, that's true. And you're wearing a dark shirt. Oof. And dark shorts. Dark shorts, pants, yeah. I meant to be covered in gray and white cat hair. It's true. Uh, he talks like it's the first time he's spoken today. Quiet and a little hoarse. Uh, if that's all, I'll go back to the cats. That's fine. Hayes slips back down the stairs just as quietly as he arrived. That kid would make a great ninja. <laughs> I look down at the coffee and see a sleepy cat face staring up at me from the phone. I've only ever seen latte art on the internet before. Yeah, I don't know how people freaking do that. That's I don't know. I, I, I've seen people try and do it, and it never works. No, out. no. It's fun watching the attempts, though. Yeah, like if I tried to do that, it'd just end up like a big freaking mess. I am the cat whisperer. Um, did Hayes really do this? I take a sip. It's not bad if you like coffee, I guess, but it could really use some sugar. There are packets on the table, but I can't bring myself to ruin the foam cat. Now we can get this going. Let's interview! I'll even start you off easy. What's your favorite breed of cat? What does this have to do with working at a cafe? I know there's cats, but... Okay, boy. Uh, <laughs> there's cats with the stumpy little tails. That'd be a Manx, uh, Scottish Wolf, Maine Coon, I don't know, Tabby, my cat, Siamese... <laughs> Uh, cats that look like they're wearing tuxedos. We had a cat like that when I was very little. Her name was Putty. Like, uh, I taught I taught a Putty Tat. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What do you like, Ruth? What kind Answer of within you your like? heart. Remember, I, I, I've done, I've played this game in, in its entirety. This is your playthrough. I'm just here to make snarky comments and cuddles <laughs> from your cats. Snuggle cats, yeah. Um, it's, it's like oh, I have look, my she own. she sort of settled down. Aww. It's like I have my own little cat cafe. Um, One very drooly cat. I don't know. Of those, I, uh, of those, I like Maine Coons a lot. Do you know any other languages? How about ciphers? Uh, e -a No, that's not Wakarimasen. It's, uh... I don't know the kanji. Uh, that's Shimasen. Um, shit. I want, I want to know now. Where's my phone? <laughs> I need to know! I speak the language of dance! I do not speak the language oh, of dance. Ow, ow, ow. You, little girl, have some very sharp paws. I know some kanji, I just don't know that one off the top of my head. Shit, where is... Where's Iniwa? I've moved all my shit around. Actually, let me look for Google Translate. There we go. Let me see if I can draw this in if it'll let me. Ah. Japanese. Yes, I can. All right. Sorry about this. I'm just really, really curious. Uh. uh wait. No. 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 Let me finish drawing. Google. Uh, and then. No. 
fucking... Alright. Yeah, you have to go really fast yeah. for the draw one. Okay, hold on. I got it. One, two, three, box. Oops. Fuck. I lost it. I had it and then I lost it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just really, really... that one. Story. Okay, well, how's it pronounced? Tell me how it's pronounced. Okay. Well, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't help me. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know enough Japanese to choose that one. No. What marine animal would you say best represents you? Orca, absolutely, 100%. What genre of music would you use to describe your work ethic? Classically hardworking? Children sing along. Punk. I'm not dead, just resting. Chip tunes. Um. I do like chip tunes, but I think I'm gonna go with punk for this one. On a scale from 1 to 10, rate me as an interviewer. I don't like this. <laughs> well, my instinct is to pick one, but. Ten! Draculas or teenage wolves? F excuse me, they're vampires, not Draculas. No, Draculas are teenage wolves. Fucking Draculas, then. Just kidding with that last one. Interesting. Good. I like interesting people. He leans forward, appraising me with this terrible smirk on his face. He likes the cat who ate the... He's like the cat who ate the canary. Maybe I don't want to be interesting by his standards, but it feels kind of flattering nonetheless. Uh, thank you. You start tomorrow. Wow, great. Thank you. I'm really glad because, you know, you would have hired me regardless of my answers. <laughs> so, this is cool. Don't run off yet. I have paperwork for you. Oh, yeah, of course. Grace pushes away from the table, coffee cup in hand. He nabs my saucer even though I'm not quite finished and slinks down the stairs. He returns as if he'd never left, trading the empty cups, uh, coffee cups for a small stack of papers and a pen. He places them in front of me. So what will be my job? Or what will my job be? Whatever. I don't know. Oh, yes. I was, you, I was you trying to figure out what it was. Yes. I said it was a Pokemon. I just saw this. I'm like, is that a butt? Like, what? I just saw this <laughs> part. I couldn't tell what it was. Oops. I killed Good job. Pokemon. Good job. Look, I fixed it, it. Those are just ashes, so you... Hey, I didn't even make a mess. Oh, good. I am the chosen one. Well done. One. I was going to say, as soon as I'm like, wait, that's a little incense cone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Did, did he hire me with no position in mind? Is this how this guy usually works? I feel like I'm in a daze. Too much information and too much coffee. I set the papers and skim them. I take the papers and skim them, signing pretty much anywhere I see an X in a line. What's it all for, and why is there so much? Probably taxes and stuff, I don't know. You just fucking sold your soul to him, that's all. <laughs> and who cares? I've got a job. Oh, goodness. What is your problem? I've tried to move her slightly, and she did not appreciate it. She's like, you bitch! Pretty much. <laughs> I push the papers t back toward Graves, and he eagerly scoops them off the table. I guess the drill monster's yours for Come now. Here. Come here. No. 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 Drill monster's yours for now. No! <laughs> I just want an excuse to pay your leg. <laughs> uh, do, do, do you need an excuse for that? Good point. <laughs> uh, I push the paper. Okay, yeah. Perfect. We open at 11. Be here at 8. Jesus, you want me here three hours before the frickin' place opens? Gotta make them donuts. We'll have you help with the morning prep. My displeasure must be pretty apparent because his mouth cracks into another smirk. You can work a later shift after training. You won't have to deal with those cursed mornings for too long. Uh, okay, that's fine. Now go! I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. You need to get to work fixing that sleep schedule of yours. Okay, okay. Yes, Dad. <laughs> yes, Dad. You're not my real dad. You're not my real mom. Uh, I always like saying you're not my real mom to everybody. Just because I think it's funny. <laughs> Pussy's like, yes, keep doing that. In fact, giving giving me any attention at all, just keep doing it forever. He seems lost in his own world, poring over the paperwork I just filled out. <laughs> oh, are you playing with Ruth now? You never play. Are you 
and the Cat Whisperer. Boop. Bootsy's just an attention whore. She usually does not care to... <laughs> wow! You got her to play. That's so cute. Does she not usually play? She just... She usually just wants pets. Well, I think it probably helps that I'm... Oh, oh you got me there. Ooh. Didn't hurt. <laughs> you should not be chewing on that. It's plastic and metal, but of course I am, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he seems lost over his, uh, in his own world now, poring over the paperwork I just filled out. Uh, I guess there's all sorts of tax stuff you have to deal with hiring people. Why would he do it so casually? Well, whatever, not my problem. Head down the stairs. Landry's back. He looks uncomfortable waiting at the foot of the balcony, but perks up when he sees me. So... I'll see you tomorrow, co-worker. Oh, that was Stealing you. my lines. Sorry. My oh! Bad. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> you can meet everyone else tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll make sure they're all ready for a meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me. Graves, of course. You met Hayes. Finley. Mason. Reese. That's it. It shouldn't take too long to get to know them all. Okay, great. I'll see y'all tomorrow, then. Great, see you. Wahoo! I'm gonna live it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job. Ooh. Date night. Date night with Hulk. Oh yeah, it did say night Hulk. Was that the prologue? Pretty much. Oh man, that was long. It One goes faster if we're not doing voice work for everybody to be there. That's true, but I don't want to just speed through it. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No. Oh, so there are girls. Uh huh. So nice to have a woman here who can do woman voices. And yet I end up doing Landry's voice. Yeah, I know. I. My. Uh... Those all struck me as dude names, too, so. I know a trans man named Mason. Okay. <laughs> kind of love Graves. Bootsy. Okay. All right. I know. I know, oh. baby. Here, let's just get down. Oh. <laughs> She's like, no, don't push me away. You monster. <laughs> Was this made in, um, whatever I have that... no idea. Because there's, there's a, um, I know there's like a, there's basically like RPG maker for this. Yeah, ones. yeah. Because that's what they use for Doki Doki Literature Club. One of the now three visual novels that I've played. I've played Doki Doki Literature Club, Dream Daddy, and this. <clears throat> oh, I have excuse me. almost an embarrassing amount of visual novels lately on Steam. It's just like, that's what I want to play. I have, I have trouble with them because they're not... Games. Well, the ones I tend to like more usually are the ones that at least have like some sort of stat management aspect mm. to them. Like this one doesn't really have that, but I found the story really cute. Yeah, I like the characters and the art's fun. So. Yeah, Dream Daddy is is different for me. It has like the the mini games. Yeah, it's got the mini games and like you can be a trans character, yep. which is not something that you it's find in a lot of places. And then of course Doki Doki Literature Club because. Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> if you haven't played that game, I'm not going to say anything about it, but it's it needs to be experienced, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I got lost, and I didn't end up painting anything, but it was a nice walk. As I head home, I get the distinct feeling of being followed. I didn't really know that I... Uh, I didn't really know that was a thing that actually happens, but it's not hard... It's hard not to notice when you see some movement out of the corner of your eye. I turn around. A sleek back cat... Boy, I cannot read today. A sleek black cat the stands. Is. Yeah, the sopapia has fucked me up real bad. <laughs> stands in the middle of the road. It sits down when we make eye contact and thumps its tail testily against the pavement. It's got different colored eyes. I guess heterochromia really is pretty common in cats, huh? Is that is that Graves? I bet that's Graves. Should I like try to bring it to the cafe? They take care of strays there, after all. I should try. I crouch down as slowly as I can, and I reach my hand toward the cat, beckoning to it. It doesn't move. I make those little smoochy noises that seem to work on some cats. 
Maybe you got to seize attention. I did. But you so cruelly pushed her off. She's like, mm, maybe I forget a little. <laughs> Let's Come see. Up, sweetie. She has no confidence when it comes to jumping. For you some need to reason. pick you up? Here you go. She's purring. She's just constantly purring. Purring and drooling. This one doesn't seem terribly impressed. It pins its ears back and looks away, still for a moment before standing up and slinking into an alley. I guess I should just leave this to the professionals. It's blue and yellow eye were on the same sides as Graves, too. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Uh, it's time to celebrate. I'm gonna wreck this pizza I grabbed from Pizza Lloyd's on the way home. I picked up a can of wet cat food for Mochi from the store, too. I figure we both deserve a celebration. Yeah, that's the good stuff, huh, Bootsy? What are you doing? <laughs> I petted her wrong, so she nibbled at me to get me to stop. You bastard. No. Mochi, get your fat lump out here. I have good news. No answer or indication he's even in the same room. You know, he never even asks how my day was. I know how to do this. I walk over to his full bowl and crack the lid of the wet food. <coughs> In a flash, he's at my feet, tail shaking like a, like a rotor behind him. Come here, you big moron. I give him a little scratch behind the ears before I dump half the can into his bowl and, feed, and the feeding frenzy begins. He acts like I never feed him. Whatever, I'm about to do the same. go do the same to this pizza. After a quick jaunt to free myself from the shackles of non-pajama clothing, I flop back on the couch, dinner in hand, laptop in my face. Oh, looks like there's a new jelly donut video. It's a video of her sleeping in a donut box. I love that dumb internet cat. She's always doing something ridiculous. I wonder how her owner gets her to do those tricks. That flooring seems familiar. Where are these filmed? I spend the rest of the evening picking through the video archives. I can feel myself sinking into the bread dough cushion couch cushions. Wow. It's so early. What's his problem? Wow. I bet he just wants the other half of that wet food. This is why I don't get it for him that often. I excavate myself from the couch and do what I can to mitigate the bedhead situation I have going on. What time is it anyway? I grab my phone to check. 7.40? Aw, oh, hell! You watch your fucking mouth. I'm gonna be late for my first day of work. I take the world's fastest shower, but there's no time to dry my hair. I'll have to hope I run fast enough that the wind resistance will do the job for me. I never use a hair dryer. I don't I either. always just let it air dry. No time to sort through my duffel. I'm just gonna have to throw on whatever looks cleanest. It's not like Graves said anything about dress code, so whatever. Oh, it's a cat. Or it's I a bomb. I think it's a bomb. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that was meant to be like a tail, but... Mochi trails me closely, howling more and more insistently along the way. It's like he doesn't care about my punctuality at all. No time to fix to mix the wet food the way he likes it. I dump a scoop of kibble in the bowl and uh, on my way out the door. I haven't seen a cat so offended since the one that watched me mess up coffee. <laughs> they can both deal with it. I can't believe I'm almost late for my first day of work. At my first job, even. What a great impression to leave. Thanks for hiring me, Avery the Flake. I start out in full sprint to the cafe, but it's only about ten, a 10 minute walk, so it looks like it might not be as bad as I thought. If I run, I can make it in less time. And we'll find out if we make it in time on the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and check out the RPG Book Club. Link to our Patreon is in the description. Hope you join us for the next one. Bye, darlings! Say goodbye. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, sarcastic magical cat companion.